All right. Welcome, everybody, to the Rookie Rumble 2024 first round matchup between Cat Dad 77 and Violina 23. I am your co host tonight, Tall Maple. And right here with me, we got Hio. I thank you. And hello, everybody. This is going to be one fun match. Violina taking the first one offline yesterday. Um, I, don't, I, I haven't seen much of Cat Dad. I, me and Violina have been in a battle royal before and did pretty well. Also I was able to watch us. a bunch of uh, Violina in the tournament earlier, and just to see the, the progression, uh, I was really, really amazed. So uh, I'm really excited to see this match go out today, too. Yeah. And uh, also joining us today in the booth is the Pirate Sheep, who is also the number one seed in this tournament. He will be tracking for us tonight, so make sure to give him some help if if he doesn't see anything, but I have a feeling he's going to see it all. <laughs> all right, oh, we're off. Wow. That's, that, that's not a bad big secret to start with. <laughs> I mean, one less than maximum? Wow. <laughs> that's more money than I had my entire last seat. You gotta love it, especially with these seeds. You know, you, you love having all that money, so you can just buy anything and everything that is blocking your way. Yeah, and Cat Dad picking up the early candle. I'm not sure if I would have grabbed the candle there because in these seeds, we know that uh, recorder is four hearts needed, and with that kind of money, you might find a uh, candle to buy. But he's also close to a lot of burn spots as well. So, it's a give and take. We see a little bit of a divergence here, too. Uh, Violina going over to the uh, southwest corner, and Cat Dad going to try to find some Armos. Yeah, and, and Death Armos living up to its name today, uh, killing Cat Dad. That's a rough Death Armos with Lionel. So, Maple, what what are you thinking? What is going to be our Armos item? We we know that the Recorder is going to be our White Sword. And we've already gotten... Oh my god, I already found the bow. <laughs> so, what? Silver's is Armos? I, you know what? I'm going to go with the Red Ring. Let's go for a super speedy seed this time. Could you imagine having a Red Ring under Armos and then Silver's like on the coast? And uh, pretty much having all of your knowledge, except for ladder, right off the bat. Or maybe we find ladder on uh, Armos and then Silver's on the coast. Well, I was thinking, if Silver's are on the coast, Red Ring is under Armos, then the ladder is deep in seven. Well, that, that's just being mean. <laughs> But the way this uh, this seat started, that could easily happen. Nice to see Violina with the door strats with that forehead of Gleok. Looks like she took him down. Very nice. Having, having those beams on that Gleok, especially in the door that you can stand in without getting hit, is very nice. Get a little bit of slowdown here in this five. Uh, so I'm wondering how. So we just learned an interesting fact right before this race started. Cat Dad is a long haul trucker and is actually playing this tournament while on the road. So I'm hoping his uh, internet holds up in those very slow rooms. <laughs> And we got a Triforce pickup for Violina. That's a very quick five. Oh my god, bombs are only two? Well, I mean, even if you have seven, I would still pick it up just for two. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, Cat Dad saw a uh, candle for 57. I would imagine Violina will pick up that, that candle if they don't pick up it in the take any right here. Oh, and they do. <laughs> Cat 
Bad Dad taking another overworld overworld death. This overworld with the shooting Lionels are very tough, especially for rookies that are not used to the movement. I know I die a lot of times to enemies like that when I'm just trying to go from one side of the screen to the other. Uh, Violina does make it around in Death Armas. Unfortunately, it's just a money-making game. And Katna getting the arrows. Uh, definitely a good purchase with all this money. You don't want to lose the money, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> Yeah, it's been my strat to pick up meat and arrows, thanks to all those practices that we went through. Uh, always so frustrating getting almost all the way through and finding out you needed to buy that, and you never did. Yeah. Uh, something I've noticed with a lot of other rookies as well is there's a lot of uh, big shield uh, buyers in this tournament. I'm wondering... The meme the money lives that, on. Yeah, I'm wondering with the money they're getting today, if we'll see some big shield purchases... And Violina getting their arrows as well. Alright, so... Let's see, what dungeon are we going to find next? Are we find another take any. Cat Dad now up to four hearts. That does give them enough for the recorder when they find it. Uh, and it can also help with some with... of those uh, overworld deaths, too. Yes. <laughs> uh, also, with, with the recorder only being four hearts today, Magic Sword is also only ten hearts to pick up. So if we do see some extra hearts picked up by our runners, we could see Magical Sword. And Cat Dad finding a third taken. They're all right there at start. And there's level eight for Cat Dad. Opting not to go in. And finds level 6 immediately after. Now, I definitely would hold off on level 6 for a while. Uh, in shapes, level 6 is always going to be the biggest dungeon of 1 through 6. So, this early on Wood Sword, not many hearts, I would pass on it. Kind of like most people pass on level 7. But the one good thing... Oh! We found an Armos item. It is any key. Any key is good to find early. You don't have to waste all that time finding keys and trying to work your way around dungeons. You can just blow through those doors. Yes, and it also with this money, they're not going to have to worry about purchasing any keys. So the potential of saving up for a blue ring gets even higher. And we also find any roads that start off pretty nice. And that's pretty good, too. Vanilla? Vanilla. Three vanillas. <laughs> wow. At least they're spread out a bit. Yeah, and you can get into two of them without the power bracelet, too. Unfortunately, you can't get in the one next to start until you have the power bracelet. By Lena finding six and deciding to poke her head in a little bit at least. I mean, I, I don't blame Violina for taking a look here, but if they had found eight first, I would imagine they would have gone eight before the six. Just because 100%. there's two items in eight. And having the any key, and now, oh, that's a math. It's not that big, so that means our 1 through 5 aren't going to be that big either. 
Enemy's head doesn't seem too nope. bad just yet either. Oh wait, no, it's, it's the other way around. If six isn't big, then one, two, five are actually bigger. That's what it is. Because it has to make up for all the open spots. The problem is, is, with this being linear right off the bat, you're having to clear these uh, Gibdos just to get through. Uh, hopefully you don't take a death and have to redo that later on. Oh, but does have the arrows, I forgot about that. Trying to get this blue goma. It's not being, uh, there you go. I wouldn't have even bothered. I would have just ran right by. Yeah, the one, the one good thing is when you see a room that has a shuttered door, you know it can't be a push box, so just go on and go through it. Sometimes, especially in these rookie races, you, you tend to forget because, well, I mean, you're, you're all a bunch of nerves and, I mean, I even forget sometimes myself. So we have, so thanks to chat, we do know what all of our, uh, our money is today. And we have a deep mid-secret, a great large secret, but man, our low secret, only three. And, uh, the, the stealing almost a four off max, that's not good. But at least with a small secret, you can still buy a pack of bombs. That's a good deal. That, that's true. Speaking of bombs, that was a great bomb for Violina right there. Gotta love it when they go down like that. Yeah, I mean, especially when you lose, you, you only get one head out the first time, and then it speeds up, and then finish them all off. So that's great. Alright, so we have found Max. Uh, neither runner is close at this point. But Cat Dad, already with five, just needs to find five more. <laughs> and Violina hasn't even found one yet. Well, it's found the one that can a uh, Of Gibdos in this level 8. And again, with me, you know, my, my strategy if I have the any key, I will run through the rooms to try and find anything. Um, and then if I have to come back and kill rooms, then I will, right? It, I mean, with the any key, that's definitely a good strategy. So like like where you know you've got two items and they're both in stairs. Uh, only thing is, is you, especially in eight with it being huge, you tend to forget what you have and haven't cleared unless you're taking good notes. <laughs> because you can definitely clear some of the easier rooms on your way for sure. Oh wow, look how expensive our uh, secrets are today. But we don't need the raft, so that's good. And level 8 has the raft. <laughs> so, those two secrets do not help us at all. And there is the raft! We went 3 for 3. Wow, what a sequence of events. <laughs> I mean, that was 15 seconds, and we got everything about a wrap right there. <laughs> Game knows. Game knows. <laughs> yeah, it does. Maybe the wrap could still lead to our fourth take any, or to the letter, or something good, but we won't need it to finish the seat, that's for sure.
Alright, Kata is going to try Death Armos one more time. Has already died twice here. And, oh, unfortunately that is a third death at Death Armos. Hence the name. Exactly. I mean, this is easily one of the worst enemy sets to have in that small area right there. While having to wait for Armos to get up and move, too. Looks like Cat Dad's making their way to level 8 as well. Uh, Violina taking a death in 8. Or, nope, Cat Dad's gonna go somewhere else. So, and another overworld death for Cat Dad. That's tough. Those Lionels will definitely. I mean, you've got good money. I don't know. Have they seen the blue ring yet? If they had, that might be a good purchase potentially today with this overworld. Uh, we haven't seen a hint for Red Ring yet, so I mean, definitely would look for Blue Ring potential. Alright. Finally enough, finding all of those fake innings that Cat Dad already found. And PB not required. And so, we only have a recorder left for an overworld block. Or this could be a full, a one spot for potential overworld block. And the recorder is in Death Mountain as well. I swear the game is listening to you. Every time you see you say it, something, it, then, <laughs> then it just brings it up again. Oh, and Violina getting slammed. Will it be a three for three? It is. That is a tough spot right there with the levers popping out right at the wrap spot. And opting in up A. Do not blame her one bit. So it appears with uh, Cat Dad, the strategy is to just explore the overworld, try and get as much uncovered as possible. Uh, maybe looking for some more offense before digging a bit. I'm not too sure. Well, I mean, I don't. I, I for one, tend to like prioritize the lower level dungeons first. Uh, if I see one through four, I'm probably digging those before anything. So I don't blame Cat Dad for trying to find something a little bit easier. Uh, and we know there's a lot of money, so definitely money to be had. And finding a blue ring would be nice as well. The problem is, is Cat Dad really hasn't found any good dungeons yet. <laughs> Or, or really anything. An, an, an arrow and a blue candle so far. Uh, that is that is true. Um, and they're not... They need to make their way to Death Mountain to get that any key as well. So they are literally on the wrong side of the world. But hopefully, we have not seen anything over here in Casino Corner. Hopefully, we find something good. Besides these dark nuts. So, Maple, what what would you rather see? Would you rather see dark nuts and these Lionels in the overworld or in the dungeon? I would rather to never see them ever again. Uh, but I would well, take... Yeah. I would take uh, I, I would take them on the overworld, uh, and that just makes the the dungeons go a little bit quicker. Okay. See, for for me, I will take the Lionels and and the uh, Dark Nuts both in dungeons because I know I can work around them to get kills. I'd rather have 
Pole's voices and uh, whiz robes in the overworld, so I don't have to sit there and just beat on them forever. <laughs> whiz robes on the overworld for me are are worse. I die so much. <laughs> yeah, and both of our runners today, <laughs> both of our runners are feeling the Lionel death today. At least Lionels don't all line up in a, like, in a line to shoot you, right? See, for, for me, the good thing about Lionels is you can get them into an infinite loop with a wall. If you knock them into a wall, they'll run, you'll be able to get them back before they shoot at you. So you just keep doing that over and over again. So, uh, I'm guessing that's a shield of 152, the, what looks like the Mandalorian helm. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the, uh, the big shield for, for Cat-Dad. Okay. Oh, and we found level two in, uh, East Coast Armos. A very good pirouette by Cat-Dad there, to, without having to use any bombs. And that is one thing that Cat Cat doesn't have any keys right now. There is one on the floor, but uh, not having that any key may come back to bite him right here. Well, we just keep getting key after key though. <laughs> Yeah, you just take what the game gives you. Which means there's probably just a boomerang in here. <laughs> yeah, these keys are not uh, being nice to Cat Dead right now. Was there an item in that room? You didn't uh, opt to push that block. Maybe it's a segment, right? Oh, it, level two. Well, well, there is the power bracelet, but level two will only have a floor item unless you're playing second quest. No, but it meant for a, a transport in case it was segmented. Oh, yes, yes, there could be a transport there. Yes. And so we did find the power bracelet in two. Unfortunately for Cat Dad, those uh, four spots are basically taken up by the Any Roads. So no help today from them. Any Roads and a money making game, I think, right? Uh, well, we haven't seen the last one yet. We've only seen the three Any Roads. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. So yeah, this, this room could be a push if this is a segment of two with uh, second quest rooms on. Uh, unfortunately for Cat Dad, this room cannot push because it already had the power bracelet. Good bomb. Very nice bomb. And unfortunately, nothing for the troubles. And it looks like Violina is working her way into finding level two right now, too. Yep, so we will we will get a dungeon high five. Very nice Kanana key by Cat Dad there. Uh, being on zero keys, making sure to go back through to open it. And this is where with uh, the any key, I mean, those rooms get a lot quicker than, than that, right? So we might see yeah. Violina kind of pull through a little bit quicker here. 
Yeah, and unfortunately for Cat Dad, Seth and Rupee short of getting the bomb upgrade. Uh, not totally necessary, but always nice to have. And there's five of them right there. Oh, and the floor heart. So, Cat Dad, four hearts away from Magical Sword at this point. Moblins take a lot of hits. Oh, and the Triforce. Very good for Cat Day. Getting all the items here in two. Unfortunately, nothing to help, but it is the uh, first Triforce for Cat Day. And sometimes in a seed, that's all you need. A little bit of progress, get that momentum going, give you a little confidence boost, so that you can actually yeah. start digging other stuff out. I mean, right right now, the bow is definitely a big advantage for Violina, just having that extra combat and having the any key. But it's definitely not out of the realm of possibility for Cat Dad to catch up really quick. Especially if they are to find something like the silvers or even the wand. Yeah, Arrow's definitely making this Blue Gria room a lot easier. Yeah, very much. <laughs> and having all the extra cash definitely does not hurt. <laughs> and looks like we'll get some more bombs, too. Ooh, that's a good one. Five extra bombs. Cat Dad finds the blue ring. It is 244. Roll down six, so not too bad. Conservative with those arrows at this point. <laughs> Maybe there's still thoughts of blue ring, just in case. Find a big yeah, seat. Possibly. Yep. Oh, there we go. Violina getting everything out of this too as well. Uh, chat telling us we have a red candle on the coast. I don't see anybody going to pick that up. Uh, unless for some reason the ladder is like right next to it. <laughs> yeah, Cat Dad finding there any roads for the first time. Probably will not be happy to see that they're all behind the power bracelets right now. <laughs> In fact, the fourth one is actually pretty close to the other power bracelet. But this this will get kept as their any key. So now the difference between the two races is just level 5. by Alina finding level 7. 
this is the one where everybody goes in hoping to see the Triforce in, in the next room and then just leave. <laughs> uh, Catnet finding another big secret in the Forgotten Spot, that's going to put them at max. And they do know where a blue ring is, so could we see a blue purchase here shortly? And with the amount of overworld deaths... Like, if that was me, and I was dying that much, I would just beeline it right to it, and, and put that part of my life behind I was gonna say, it kind of looked like they were heading back to the any roads, but they are gonna check uh, Graveyard Armos. Oh, more money. Don't pick it up. So far, so good not finding any uh, muggers. I must have had seed bleed or something, but uh, I did call that, that that was a money-making game. You actually did. <laughs> See, the game's even listening to you. The game knows. The game knows. The game knows. <laughs> Oh, and there is the blue ring for Cat Dad. Very nice. I think that'll be huge for Cat Dad uh, to avoid those overworld deaths and, and start actually digging some stuff out and getting some items. I think it's going to be huge. Yeah, I mean, if, if Cat Dad was defined like level one or level three um, here shortly here in Death Mountain, that would be huge. As Violina right now spending some time in a you know decent sized level seven. Uh, okay, they, they are... Insane, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right now, the big thing, finding a level 1, especially with its two items, or level 3 with its small, and hoping for something that helps Cat Dad to progress would be definitely at the top of my list. And even if Cat Dad were to get... Like, let's say he finds level 1, and it has a... The, the floor heart and the coast heart and then he gets the heart out of three you know getting that yeah. magical sword early too that could be a, a huge momentum swing uh, yes it really could be I'm finding another large that's all three of our large secrets for cat that I mean this is a very nice money scene I don't think I've ever had money like this in a seed before <laughs> It is very rare, that's for sure. I have seen the the 150 before. That was nice. Alright, get that with plenty of bombs to get this area. Oh, and there is the recorder. Uh, right now, only helps them to get the one spot and uh, getting to level 2, but still, uh, good find. Oh, all of our secrets are expensive today. The game knows. <laughs> the game knows. Oh, that's that's nice. So we're not totally sure ladder is required yet, but at least it's in level one, and the wand in level six. And I think we saw a hint that. Level one was on Death Mountain somewhere, right? I believe you're. I believe yes. We saw Aqua Menace on Death Mountain somewhere. I would imagine Violin is getting close. Oh, and level three is in Death Mountain. Okay, things are picking up now. And there's Whitsrips. Things are slowing down now. <laughs> All right, Cat Dad. Yeah, just brute force your way through. You've got the blue ring. All right, I think Cat Dad is going to buy more bombs. That's what the play is here, because could not do any more in Death Mountain without any more bombs. But we do find level one. I'll win for it. And yes, 
Any key, just walk on. Under everything. We can see that dig of five really paying off here. Getting that bow and those arrows. And here's our item right away. And it is the ladder. So we do know that the other two items in here will be heart contained. And get that in level five. This is probably the smart call. Get that bow and then go back up to Death Mountain since you do know level one is up there. Alright, very good kill for Cat Dad there. Uh, going to reset the room after killing just one of them. We'll reset the other one too. And safe strats, you know what? It's better than dying. Right? Definitely quicker than, than very, dying and having to redo it. Very much so. Alright, so that is the bow for Cat Dad. By Elena finding the compass, we'll... Uh, it's one of his segments, so we will need to find another stair. I imagine Violina at this point is going to clear all of level 1. I don't know if they have the hint. I don't think they have the hint for level 1 with the heart team. I think they took a different route and they haven't opened that one up yet. Okay, yeah. Uh, Katna's looking for the. Oh, nope, never mind. Unless that was the white horse. <laughs> gonna say looking for a heart here in five uh not a bad idea i mean you want to get as close to ten as you can but we now are even on triforces so violin is about to change that Something you don't see every day. Cat Dad walking through the Lost Woods. I've been known to do that from time to time. Just, uh, you know, to think. Where am I going? What am I doing? Let me check my tracker. No, I totally understand. But Cat Dad is on the right path. They will find level 3 and level 1 here shortly. And we've... I mean, we're pretty close to tied up at this point. Uh, Violina, of course, having the extra items in 1 right now. But Cat Dad with the knowledge of 1. I mean, do they stay and farm out both of those hearts or not? That's the best clue of the game. Aqua Menace is exactly where you're at. <laughs> you are here. And Cat Dad finding level 3 as well. Alright, Violina up to 8 hearts. Too short of max. And just one more time seeing that hint. <laughs> and there's the Triforce for Violina. I'd imagine they're going to go right back to level 3. Very nice by Cat Dad, by the way. Yeah, great ways. job. I was on the edge of my seat watching that all unfold, and great job, Cat Dad, on that combat there.
The cat dad didn't even lose a single bit of health in that fight. That was that was impressive. Oh god, those are some expensive potions. But I think she still has a, a large secret to find. Oh, that is good. Yeah, that blue ring's gonna pay off for Cat Dad. Unfortunately, not having the ladder yet is going to slow down just a little bit. Cat Dad may be trying to clear this Gibdo. I mean, you've cleared one red Wizzy. I don't know. Right, you're probably gonna try to kill it all now. If he clears this room, he is my hero. <laughs> These uh, bubbles are not making it easy. That is for sure. No, everybody talks about Gleox being bad, and Spiny's being bad, and Wizrobe's being bad. No. Bubbles <laughs> in a Beemos room that has enemies? Far worse. See, I hate both Bubbles and Beemoses more than anything. Uh, oh no, Cat Dad, don't leave the area. Get that going, oh, going for more bombs. Okay. I just realized they were out of bombs. Violina is about to find out everything she already knows. Uh, yeah. Well, at least uh, Violina did find the big secret right before this. <laughs> And now knows where Wand is, so that's nice. There's our final take in the on Cat Dad's side, uh, up on the lake. So if Cat Dad gets both hearts out of one, they will just be one heart short. Violina taking a death. The the only good thing for Violina is picking up that they picked up that uh, recorder right before this, and now can they go right back to Death Mountain? Level four at the waterfall. So we are still looking for our silvers and any combat. Uh, hopefully we find our silvers somewhere before 9. Because <laughs> the last thing you want is having to dig out a giant 9 looking for silvers. I think we've all been there. It's not a great feeling. Uh, the worst feeling is when you dig out a ladder in 9 to get a bow in 8 to get the silvers in 7. <laughs> that happened to me in the winter tournament. <laughs> Alright, Lena finding 9 and then restoring the arts with a up A. Good strat there. The Triforce and four for Cat Dad. Uh, I would imagine Cat Dad's gonna go right back in though, uh, not finding the item yet. Yeah, I think you kind of have to because it's also kind of out of the way. There's nothing really, really close by, so clear it out while okay. you're here. And he had a whole entire way to go behind a locked door uh, through this transport.
That screen giving Violina a lot of trouble. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, Dad, finally getting getting to use the bow. Unfortunately, it did not turn into anything. That is a nice segmented four. <laughs> what do we think that looks like, chat? I'm at a loss. <laughs> yeah, Dad, still with no bombs, so unable to go to the little section on the far left. But hopefully this is the item here. It is. All right, white sword. That is nice. I mean, you're close. You're close to Max, but you'll take Betty for the time. Yeah, white sword, blue ring. That's a that's a good combo to have. Uh, really, you know, to to make sure you stop dying. That's that's the important thing. Yes. And and right on Violinist's side, we see the red ring. So both competitors now having good defense. So that is a much, good find. I'd much rather have that ring, <laughs> that red ring. <laughs> we got a running velociraptor and a motorized shopping cart. I think you're both right. I think you're both right. <laughs> uh, so, Cat Dad picking up that extra heart in level four now just needs to find the two hearts in level one and they will be magical sword qualified violena is just looking for the triforce here in eight at this point Dad really needing to find some bombs right now. He's got the money, so it looks like he's gonna go buy them at this point, no? Maybe hearts first and then bombs. Uh yeah, that's a good possibility. Nice berry there for Violina. Alright, Kanda does pick up a bomb pack. And by Okay, finds a potion shop and decides to go back in. Uh, they probably are not going to enjoy these prices, but they do have enough. that compass or or find the the triforce. And uh, while we're sitting here waiting, uh, let's just, uh, one more time give a big thank you to our trackers today, the Pirate Chief. Uh, doing a great job for their first time tracking. Keep it up. And I'll, I'll throw a shout out here too. If you're not following these racers, please do so. 
Also, you can follow uh, Io, myself, and, and uh, the Pirate Sheep as well. Um, you know, following each other makes that community like so much stronger. You can check out everybody, get to know everybody, and uh, show the love, right? All right, Cat Dad's finally back over here into Death Mountain. This will definitely pay off if they find level one. Especially needing that uh, ladder to get across. But that's a, that's a nice clip there. Smart to go around the Lynels. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's just more Lynels everywhere. Filena doing a good job in this, hey, digging it out, going through room to by room, not really and taking a lot of damage or anything. And Violina finding a very good hint that level 6 is along the coast. So hopefully heading to level 6 uh, next after this eight. Get that down to one bomb spot now to find their level one. I know that feeling. That's a meat block that might not be a meat block. Uh, he came in from the top, right? I thought oh, they went it? in from the from the left and then walked oh, back Oh, okay. I, I I wasn't paying attention to that side. Level 8 is being very uh, bad uh, by like, not finding the Triforce at all. And holy Gibdos. On wood sword still, so this is taking up some time for sure. And more Gibdos. <laughs> Uh, this is this is a big thing. Cat Dad could make up time in this level eight, uh, especially if they find the silvers not having to dig any items out of this level eight. Potentially uh, could go a lot faster and catch them up. And it seems like Cat Dad is moving a lot quicker now that he has uh, that white sword and blue ring. Oh yeah, very much so. Half, half the time to kill everything, it's always nice. And yes, Cat Dad is killing every room looking for those two hearts. Doing a very good job on this Leon. Don't worry, set the room. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. 
With the amount of rooms that Violina has cleared, I'm surprised we haven't found a map yet. Uh, yeah, that's kind of surprising. Or a compass. Found a lot of keys that we don't need. I would love for Violina to hit start to see all of that they cleared. Get that about to get their 10th arc here. <laughs> Still nothing. I mean... Cat Dad probably goes back to level 3 at this point, having the extra combat with the blue ring. And the but ladder, maybe... there's a couple rooms with the ladder that, that was needed, right? Yeah. But maybe goes and gets the magical sword? I guess not. Just going straight to 3. Ah, oh, there we go. Dick Dogger has our Triforce and eight. Wow, what an eight. Still didn't find compass or map. <laughs> and we see Violina going straight for level six now. Oh, that's right. Level six is right next to level eight. <laughs> Cat Dad, once again, making, you know, good work of these uh, whizzies from the doorway. I mean, if you can do it with a wood sword and green tunic, you can do it with a, you know, a white yeah. sword and <laughs> blue ring. Unfortunately, in the next room, all you see is bubbles. <laughs> and Beemos. I would kill and, this Gipto and, and then reset rough. the room. Or kill the Wizzies. Never mind. Very nice. Now the clock comes out. Always. There's our Triforce in three. And our item right next to it. This would be huge if this was silver. I would take the uh, arrow, the arrows at this point. <laughs> there you go. Oh, just a transport. We have a segment of three. All that work, and it's just a transport. <laughs> this game plays jokes. This could be a no, nope, never mind. So, hopefully, this is the map right here for Cat Dad, or we're going to be bombing random spots. 
And I was hoping that that was going to be the one for Violina. Oh, I would have cleared that cat dad. Alright, that is five Triforces for Violina. And still looking for silvers. Right now, they could either be in three, seven, or nine. And I'm not too sure if Violina found level four or not. No, Violina has not not made it to the lake yet. Kind of looks like this is where she's headed, though. Cat Dad back in three. Let's see if we can clean it up. Uh, the only problem with that is having these whiz robes right back. <laughs> Anything you do once, you can do twice or three yep. times. All right, so Violina back in seven. Uh, hopefully, we will see our item and three, three and seven right now, and then we can figure out if we have to go to nine. At least we will know where where we have to go. That is a quick Triforce there, in 7. Now, if you're Violina, do you, do you keep digging? Uh, at this point, with 4 still open, and you haven't found the item in 3 as well, I, I would prioritize those first. Oh, it is. Never seven until you have to do seven. And then it ends up being seven. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll get, get that. Well, Cat Dad's already seen most of this <laughs> three already. There are a couple rooms down at the bottom I don't think he was able to bomb into, though. Yeah, it, look, it looks like one southeast of the Triforce, and then a couple in the north. I agree with the pirate sheep. I would be hunting down mags right now and just come back and go to town on everything. I agree, 100%. Alright, Violina now has all of the dungeons. here in this board that there's just the white sword. That'll definitely be an upgrade still for Violina, so uh, whether they pick up the white sword or find that tenth part and go get mags, either way I think they're gonna have some combat upgrades soon. No, no need to kill those with <laughs> when you just came from that room. Yeah, Violina thinking whether to pick it up now, but I mean, might as well because it's not that long to get back there. Here's our first patcher of the day. Had that able to avoid it for the most part. And there was our uh, comment about Dick Dogger holding the bow. Sorry, not the bow, but the. Uh, yeah, the bow.
had that taken refill before having to redo that room once again. Uh, I mean, as many times as Cat Dad has fought these Wizzies, I applaud him for taking them on every single time. I, I hate Blue Wizzy so much, and he's done very well against these. Alright, going to try to bomb into that. Oh, never mind. Now has the ladder to get there. Yeah, what's a hard. He needs to go southeast now to find the item, it looks like. He has that one room on the tail there. Violina getting sword. her white sword, yeah. Alright, so this should be the room with the item. That is our first, uh, curve thing today. Thing that shall not be speaked about. So now we're down to two items in nine and one in seven. We have the book, the blue one of those things, and the silver arrow is still outstanding. So, I wonder, Violina, if I'm Violina and I get through three and find the item in three, with a 66% chance of it being a nine, I would go to nine before going back to seven. A hundred percent. I'm just going to assume that it's somewhere in nine at this point. And the one good thing is you're going to have a couple hints in nine, and there's a possibility that one of those hints could tell you the silvers are in nine. And if they're not in nine, you know exactly where they are because you've gotten everything else. <laughs> and again, you never want to dig seven until you have to dig seven, and you always have to dig seven. <laughs> that is true. Uh, Cat Dad is now digging seven. <laughs> Let's see if he can answer the question for us. So on the opposite side of that, this is a this would be a great play if Cat Dead was to stay in here and find the other item. Because the one thing that could catch Cat Dead up is finding the silvers in here and Violina going to nine. But we also know that the Triforce is pretty early in this seven, so Cat Dead could see it and bounce the way Violina did. Sure, Cat Dad has already passed the Triforce, actually, so. Could this be our item? I think this was a transport. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Triforce was in one of the first eight rooms. So imagine, this little divergence here, something a little bit different, paying off with the zero for the silvers. That would be huge for Cat Dad. Yes, that, that, I mean, that would change this whole game, for sure. Oh, 
could be in here. Well, we know how he likes to fight Blue Wizrobes, so this is a perfect move for him. Yeah, and he could always reset right here. But never mind, he's gonna he's gonna do it. His bombs are doing really well against these Blue Wizrobes. I would have probably just reset after the first uh, Red Wizrobe kill. <laughs> Just to see if I can get blues out of there. Oh, it's blue! The wrong blue. The wrong blue. The game knows, always. Game knows. Alright, so we do know that Silvers will be in level 9 along with the book. The, neither runner has full knowledge yet, but Violin is about to have 66% knowledge. That silvers are in nine. And this is the transporter. Okay, Violina will thankfully not go and see the little leg. We'll find their item before going to see that side. Unfortunately for Cat Dad, they are on the wrong side of level 7, so they're going to see a lot of this before the tripod. Bailena also having 10 hearts could get their mags as well, if they choose to do so. But they are now eight Triforces, which means they can get into level nine. And what do we find in level nine, Maple? What we'll be looking for is a door that does not open, a shutter door that does not open once all the enemies are cleared. And we're listening for the roar of Ganon. We'll know that uh, one room away. He's pretty loud. And before all that, we need to find the Silver Arrows somewhere. Yep. So, three things. And uh, since we don't have the book, we'll have to find the map to see what this level 9 looks like. Or the book. <laughs> and yes, there is Mags for Violina. Very nice. We'll have Red Ring and mags going into this nine and a potion so that's about as stacked as you can get <laughs> yeah i'm feeling pretty confident uh, if i'm stepping into level nine with that who knows we might get the uh the crazy nine where ganon's one room in and uh zelda's right after and then still have to search for the whole level nine for the silvers. And it's a magic stare to the silvers. Unfortunately, Cat Dad still clearing out the seven. Needs to get back to the front of the dungeon. Looks like but, he is uh, making his way back there. Just in case, you know, maybe it's not fully segmented. Maybe there's a bomb wall or something through. That's true. So without without having the silvers, you almost need to start taking every stairs you find just to see where they come out. I, at least that's how I feel when I'm looking for silvers. Yeah, and marking at least where the staircases go, right? So that you know, yeah. okay, you know, I can find my route back if I find Ganon on the way, if I find Zelda on the way. 
But we do have a compass. That is nice. map would be nice too. This could be a map right here. And there it is. Yeah, in those rooms, if there is nothing, it usually, I think, is the map. Dad using a potion on this go mine? I think this is the dry force right here. This or the next room. Dodging the Beamos very nicely. Yep, and there we go. Hard work pays off. Uh, pedantic Potato, uh, I hope you had some snacks as well, but uh, they know there's there's three items outstanding. Um, that's it. So they, they know it's a 66% a chance that Silver's are in here. Cat Dad finding more cheap bombs. Always nice. Unfortunately, that is not the path to Zelda. That would have been nice if it was a silver scent, but we already got that compass. Another staircase, another staircase, another staircase. We'll say that a few times here. <laughs> Thankfully, that just uh, removes one chance, one more chance that it can't be the silver. And cut that back in six. Hopefully, quick dig, get the Triforce and go. Yes, at, at this point, cat that. Uh, thinks it's either level 8 or level 9 for uh, the Silvers, as they never saw the Raft in 8, so they have one item outstanding in 8 and 2 and 9 that they don't know. And both our runners got the hint that the wand was in 6, so I don't think there's any point digging that out right now, so you're just looking for Triforces and getting out of here. Yeah, and Cat Dad will still have to go get back into 8 to get his Triforce, and it did take Violina a pretty decent amount of time finding it. But Violina was also searching for both items at the time, and Cat Dad may just be thinking Triforce and get to 9 for Silvers. And Violina was still with Wood Sword at the time, so maybe Mags will help make that a little bit quicker, and a lucky route in 9 could still be anybody's game. Very true. Nine could do nine things. And it's already, I mean, it, it's doing nine things so far. <laughs> but at the same point, Violina is making good work of this nine. They're going to see a lot of it before Cat Dad even gets both threat horses out of six and eight. So it'll take some, uh, a uh, little help for Cat Dad to come back. <laughs> oh, and 
the beast in the northwest that's only like six rooms or no nine rooms that it could be in <laughs> yeah it narrows it down pretty good but how do you get up there well you did you just speak it into existence Maybe, if the spawn. Uh, I would attempt to bomb Violina. Well, no, I, I think that Violina was in the room under Zelda before. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was looking at the Zelda's room. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong room. <laughs> Right, there is the Triforce in six for Cat Dad. So just one Triforce behind. And that is a quick blue or a quick walk over to it level eight. Cat Dad has not seen any of this level eight yet, so we're in for <laughs> an interesting time now. <laughs> So actually, Cat Dad is missing four items. Uh, for some reason, I was thinking they had already gotten one item in here, but they had two items outstanding in here. Well, did they get the hint about the raft being here and then the raft not being required? So at least they know that the one, one of the items isn't needed in here, right? That That is right, yes. Oh, and that's huge for Violina. They get the silver scent. No, they don't have to go back to level seven. No, they just need to get into the southeast as well. And could be close to finding Ganon as well here. Uh, this might be it right here. So, let's just, let's just go back up where he came in. <laughs> so it looks like it might be a almost a straight shot to Zelda after Ganon, though. Because there was a, a shutter door down from there. Yeah, that's probably the way. I know at this point, an hour and 23 minutes in, both runners have got to be feeling nervous that the other one is going to dot done very shortly. I feel like I'm behind in every race that I, I race. So I can only imagine, you know, being an hour and 23 in and, and just 1v1, you're just waiting for that other person, right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you're sitting there thinking, well, what if they did this instead of you and got that earlier? And you're like, oh, you're, I'm behind. I've got to finish. At least with uh, Violina getting the hint that the silvers are here somewhere, um, that makes you feel good. A little bit of reassurance, right? That, okay, I didn't yeah. have to go and spend all that time back there. All that save time in seven by finding that uh, quick drive board.
unfortunately for Cat Dad, not in the right area for the uh, the Triforce. I think he is taking a similar path that the Violina did here, though, too. Like, yeah, she cleared like I think the bottom four rows of the dungeon, and then finally found it a little bit higher. Yeah, I want to say it was closer to the uh, B column, like on the fourth row. Violina just trying to find a way to that southeast to find those silvers. Yeah, I mean, it's basically... Oh, there it is. And, and Violina does have it. the path, so... I have a feeling Cat Dad's time has just run out. But once again, make sure everybody give a follow to both these runners. They have put on a great show. And uh, and also to our tracker, Pirate Sheep. And if you want, you can follow me and Cat Dad. Oh, Cat Dad. Me and Tall Maple. We do things. <laughs> yeah, we do things. When uh, When is your next race? Tomorrow at 8. Uh, no, tomorrow at 9. All right, here's Cannon again. Only got only got to need four hits with the magical sword. I like having that potion out at the ready just in case. Yeah, very good. And not needing it, even better. Hopefully we will see a door to the west here. No, nope. but we do have a door to the south. So get your GGs out for your race winner, Violina Twenty Three. And with that, she will take this series two games to O. And Cat Dad with the immediate forfeit. So we will try. Oh, and speak of it, we have Violina joining us right now. GG, Violina. Thank you so much. How are you guys doing? Uh, doing great. Thank you for the great show. Uh, that was rough at spots, but I'm proud that I pushed through and I didn't dig too much time into some of those dungeons that I was not equipped for. So I'm trying to, that's something that I've been trying to work on. So I think it worked out well tonight. You did You did very well clearing all of the dungeons. And then the one dungeon you didn't clear, level seven, mm -hmm. perfectly, because you didn't have to. That's always a great thing. I got lucky. It was a, it was a toss up. It was either nine or seven. So hashtag never seven, right? Egg <laughs> until you have to. Intelligent. But yeah, play, playing the odds there with two items in nine, and that that was the correct call. And finding that hit in nine is always good, because it definitely makes you feel better that you'd made the right call. Yeah, and the problem that you probably you couldn't tell from um, you know from streaming on speed gaming is that I missed map. I accidentally got off in my map, so I was like a column off all the way on the right, and I'm sitting there and I'm like. <laughs> Wait, I cleared all of the northeast of, of nine. Where can it be? Where can it be? And it took me a really long time to figure out <laughs> where my mistake was and to sort of reorient myself. But I was like a whole portion of my, my tracking map was off a column. So um, I'm grateful for that hint because I would have kept clearing the rest of nine if that hadn't happened. And I literally hit every single staircase. So I was starting to get a little nervous, running low on bombs. Uh, so... I got, I'm grateful there was a path to Zelda that didn't require bombs because that would have been 
That would have been really funny. <laughs> if I had to go leave to get bombs just to get to Zelda. Well, I'm glad it worked out for you. And I, I, as one who's done it as well, I have mismarked one room and it throws everything off, so I understand. Yeah. Uh, so, tell us about the seed. Uh, a little rough on the overworld, but you only ended up with six deaths. Um, it it felt Lionels, like more. <laughs> I know those Lionels can put a hurting on you in the overworld. Uh, yeah, what's but, a, what's uh, a few swords to the face, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, what what'd you think of it? I mean, the dungeons. Again, I was getting nervous because I was kidding. It was a lot of combat um, when I didn't really have a lot of stuff. And I was very grateful that I found that one last heart to be able to get mags because that made a huge difference for nine. And um, But, you know, it was just a lot of those whiz robes in the early dungeons. And it went into three and it was like the first room you're locked in with like six blue whiz robes. And I was like, oh boy, not happening. <laughs> And I, but I was, and I was, and eight was monstrous too. Eight was rough, but um, just finding the Triforce. But I almost, I almost lost my mind when I realized that the red ring was one room over, and I went in the other direction. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> if um, Cat Dad experienced that as well, but I was, you know, that that at that point I was like, oh no, like that could have been the the game if um, if. I had gone the other direction you know it, it could have been it could have been a big difference because i was i took a chance also spending some of my money without the ability to save scum and I, I was just like you know what i'm here let's just buy the hints and i had no money so i wasn't going to be able to buy a blue ring so you know i think one well, of the big things for for you that you had going uh for you was getting that bow early because that gave you yeah. so much more offense um and it took cat down a long time to actually get that Ah, uh, yes, I got like, you know, I was very lucky because um, I have having dug that dungeon when I still had sword beams on three hearts. So I was able to get the Gliak, I was able to get the um, Lamolas that would have kicked my ass otherwise. Oh, sorry if that was bad language. <laughs> I would yeah. kick my butt I mean, if I um, if I didn't have the um, the ability to um, shoot beams from the door. So I did get very lucky. That was a nice way to start <laughs> for sure. No, but both of you had great combat against, uh, well, the Gleox and also the Blue Wizrobes. I mean, those uh, Blue Wizrobes in three, I don't know how many times Cat Dad had to kill him, but he did very well every time he had to go through there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was tough. I think he's in this setup, by the way. I don't know if he can. Yeah, I, I told him to join. He might be doing something. I don't want to pull him in if he's not ready. Oh, okay, for sure, for sure. Um, yeah, three was three. Three, I, I'm glad I didn't waste any time in it until I had to, and it didn't wind up being an important item. So I was, you know, my attitude about three was let's do the easy rooms and I can always come back and kill the hard rooms later. And thankfully it didn't require too many hard rooms. So three, I also felt a little bit like it. I was, I was kind of scared to get in there and I was glad it kind of went in my direction. Well, that is a smart strategy to have, that is for sure. Especially when you're on with sword. Uh, uh, Cat Dad finding level 4 a lot earlier than you, even though you had the bonus with the bow, he did find white sword earlier than you, and so a lot of those rooms, especially in 1 and 3, he had double the damage. It definitely made a big difference on the speed getting through those dungeons. A part of me was wondering if I should have dug the wand out of six, and I, or six or seven, whichever one had the wand that I got the hint about. I think it was six, right? And yes, I, yes. Um, and a part of me was like, should I clear a few more rooms and get that wand? And I decided not to. And I, you know, so it was that was that was like I think one of those the biggest sort of what direction do I go? Because a part of me really wanted that offense, but um, I figured with red ring I was doing okay. So. Yeah, you had wood sword yep. forever, yet your mm -hmm. combat was on point. You did so well um, dealing with all of those whiz robes and uh, blue gorillas. Uh, so well done, GGs. I appreciate that because we uh, definitely combat isn't my strong suit, but I'm trying to train myself to use bombs and um, arrows a little more, even though no one likes to spend a limited resource. But 
you know, I think there there were times where it was important, and that was definitely one of them where it really helped me out because those gorillas were, again, I didn't have red ring because I turned left instead of right in eight. So getting that later red ring was um, meant I wasn't as able to, you know, get hit in the face with boomerangs and make it through. <laughs> Yeah, Cat Dad had bought the blue ring earlier on in the seed, which again also helped. But he was uh he had just gotten into level eight about three minutes before you finished the seed. Uh. So he he still needed to find the red ring. And he was taking about the same path that you took. And <laughs> we did make so a comment went left how long you right. were in an eight. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know if anyone he, is a Doctor Who fan, but there's like an episode called like Turn Left and Doctor Who. And that's what I kept thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's basically clearing the bottom row and then the next row and then the row after that. So, oh, We are joined by Cat Dad. GG. GG's. That was... GG's uh, Cat Dad. Thanks, Bio. Great game. That was uh, an ugly, ugly see for me the Lionels uh, are not your friends I'll, I, I can tell you that no no and I'm just I'm taking a wild guess were, were silvers at least in eight <laughs> nine uh, I, I will say this um, it may look like you know you're really far behind but if Silvers had been in seven, we have a whole different game because you cleared seven and Violina just got the Triforce and said, no, nah, I'm going to nine. So yeah. if Silvers had been in seven, this might have been a whole different game. Yeah, I just, it was too many senseless deaths at the beginning of the game, beginning of the game for me. And I really couldn't recover from it. Um, so, I, I mean, I tried to do my best with my uh, my routing and trying to get as much overworld coverage as I could because I was finding nothing but the hide dungeons at first. And same, then, same. <laughs> then, then I stumbled across two and basically led with my face through and I was looking to get the Triforce. Uh, I mean, it, it, was, it was definitely a very rough overworld. Um, you got things shooting at you from everywhere. Then you get into the dungeons, and you got Wizrobes, Bemos, Bubbles. You did very well in that level three with the. I think that room with the six blue Wizrobes. We we made multiple comments about how well you're taking them out, because you had to take them out many times. Well, uh, but, I noticed in my practices that when you enter the room from the bottom, you're in perfect position if you've got beam swords to just go whole ham into them and not get beams in your face. I uh, noticed the same thing when you're going from the bottom into a room with a goma. If you fire the bow real quick, you'll get a hit before it closes the eye. Yes. Yeah, and I got to give you props on that room too, because you did it with wood sword and green tunic. Then you came back with uh, white sword and, and blue ring. And I think you cleared that room like six times, and each time you barely took any damage. So well done, well done. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I don't get to play as often as a lot of the uh, other players. Uh, I try to hang out and have fun, but um, with the uh, profession I've got, it's just it's hard to get time off. But I mean, I, I love the community, and this is the second time that uh, by has been the uh, person to knock me out of the Rookie Rumble, so uh, I think she's got my number. <laughs> oh, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> you had a different good. name then, right? <laughs> well, at least this time, I don't have the year-long nightmare of having a Malkior uh, run seed that uh, was, because last year's uh, last chance qualifier was just horrendous, and that was a Malkior seed, and I've given him grief since. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, you As can you blame should. him. You can blame Malkier because um, his baby did not roll our seed. So it's indirectly his fault, right? Yes. I, I am fully intending on wanting to see a baby Mal rolled seed in this tournament. It's got to be a thing. That is you the dream. You just have to do it early enough. 
<laughs> exactly. Baby Mal's not on her schedule, but <laughs> maybe someday. Well, uh, I'm looking forward to the day that Baby Mal beats his dad in a race. <laughs> here, here. The, the, between that and it, I'll know when time travel is real, when someone goes back in time and beats the daylights out of the guy who invented autocorrect. Then I know everything is right in this world. <laughs> But thank you guys for uh, commentary. Thank you for the restream. Thank you for the tracking. Um, I'll probably be joining you guys on commentary now that uh, I no longer have to uh, bash my head into a wall. Uh, but bye. Good luck. And I uh, hope uh, you go really far. Well, I'm playing the number one seed. So we'll see what happens. But I'm with you. I'm here to have fun. I'm here to have a good time. I'm grateful for all the people I've met and it's been a lot of fun and, and um, it'll keep being fun because that's how we roll, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm actually uh, trying to make plans to make it to the SG Live this year since I'm one state away, so. <laughs> nice. But uh, yeah, y'all have fun. Uh, enjoy the tournament and uh, good luck, bye. I'm rooting for you. <laughs> thank you. And thank you, Hio, Tall Maple, and Pirate Cheap and and of the folks who helped with restreaming. Um, thank you so much. Thank uh, you guys for such a great race. It was good to, to commentate over it. And uh, I really love to, to see how much you guys have both improved just from those qualifier rounds too. So well done tonight, well done. All right, before before we go though, before you leave, Violina, I. Pirate Chief is in here in this call with us. Is there any words you want to say to him before your all's match? Oh my gosh, I, I didn't put two and two together. Um, um, I'm. I, you gotta, you gotta trash talk him or something. <laughs> I, I feel like I can't because I'm just, you know. <laughs> I know he's gonna. I, I feel You're like I'm probably gonna. Him. <laughs> I'm gonna have the floor swept with me. I have a, I'm pretty sure, but um. I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. I can't do it. I can't do that. I'm not good at the trash. Well, here, I'll, I'll let you, I'll let you off the hook a little bit here. I hope Jess that has to, you Jess has to train Sheep, me. Jess is good at it. I, I hope that you <laughs> and Sheep go three games straight and it's really long seeds because the winner of myself and Glitch Wraith are going to face you guys. So whoever it is, I hope you guys are tired and the seeds have just really wrung you out by the time you get to us. <laughs> It's going to be fun no so, matter what happens. How rude. Apparently, <laughs> someone in here, apparently someone in here is a masochist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's most of it. <laughs> I'm still waiting for someone to do the epic, um, you know, the, the whole run where the raft leads to the ladder, which leads to, you know, just something crazy like that. I'm waiting for that to happen. <laughs> well, pay attention. We've got a lot of matches and I guarantee you one of them will have something crazy <laughs> well, all right good luck, uh, <laughs> I've, good luck to the rest you guys. of you yeah thank you cat dad it was a great it was great watching both of your races uh Violina congratulations on your win thank uh you. good luck again sheep uh maple Thank you so much for joining me in the booth. And Sheep, thank you for tracking. And thank you guys out there for watching. And like I said, this is day two of Rookie Rumble 3. So we have a lot of more matches. Make sure to go check out uh, Speed Gaming 1 right now. There is a match that might still be on. Uh, I am unsure. Uh, if not, we will have many more matches tomorrow. So please come out. Enjoy the fun. And if you're new to this, maybe think about joining Rookie Rumble 4. So until next time, everybody have a great night.